everyone, and welcome to our. It's not even started yet. Here we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our treasure home. She was in her fort, and the dishwasher is going. So I made a fort. <laughs> so I'm trying to show her what I have there posted for our picture, and. That's what was taking so long. I was trying to get her to um, get out the fort. Get out of the fort. There's only one way in and out. It's only one way in and out. Yes. That's underneath the rocking chair. Oh, underneath the rocking chair. So, all right, let's see who we have. We have in the house. We have Colby. We've got Jonathan Zuck. Melody Keeper, Peter Old Man King Homestead, and everybody welcome to cooking this morning. So let me get this stuff. I got this here. Let me try to pin it. I'll stop that dishwasher in just a second. <laughs> oh my nose. All right. So it is pinned. There we go. All right. Hey, Wendy, how you doing? I almost had that thing finished, but that's all right. So we are making raisin bread and cookies. So I got to put the uh, rest of the ingredients in for. The bread, where are you showing? It's my um, so it's supposed to be a so we found a birdhouse at my goals and I saw it and I thought that it would be and I saw that it had three doors till these doors actually open and I thought it looks like a haunted house, so I'm turning it into a haunted house for my Legos. How about a Christmas house? Or a um, Valentine's house. How about a 4th of July house? If we have enough money to buy eight more. Buy eight more? Oh my goodness gracious. I'm going to more. I'm going to Ola. I know a little Spanish. A little German. A little French. She knows that from Encanto. And um, maybe... One or two words that are Italian. <laughs> you know, you know how that goes. We learn the hellos and goodbyes and, you know, how are yous and nobody taught us anything more. I've been trying to learn languages and, you know, not old, but my mind is like, no, I don't think so. Well. So today we're doing raisin bread, raisin bread, and chocolate chip cookies. And um, I may throw something else in there. So this is the bread. I had the yeast rise already. Can I tell them about me and mom, me and mom and dad going to the mall yesterday, the other day? Yes, you can. So. The other day, I went to I went out with mom and dad. We went to the mall, and there was a cotton candy machine there. A cotton candy machine. A non dairy cotton candy machine, and really, it didn't. And I did not have any food. I did not have a slim jim. I did not have a pop tart. You will have to be loud. People can hear you. And then, uh, um. You didn't have you didn't have a pop tart or a slim jam for breakfast. Uh uh. And then we actually ordered. We actually got some cotton candy from the machine. Um, we got colors. Um, red. We got pink, blue, yellow, and white colors in one cotton candy shaped like a flower. Oh wow! And I had cotton candy for breakfast. You had cotton candy for breakfast? Yep. When did you have that? Yeah, Friday when I oh, went to the mall. Friday when y'all went to the mall. 
Uh, Is that enough raisins? One more. One more. There's How about a few more? Hang on. I need one more raisin. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I'm going to get this dough mixed up. We went to the spice and tea exchange. You went to the spice and tea exchange? Yeah. It's the, it sells spices and tea bags and other kinds of cool stuff. They sell um tea leaf mints. Oh, they do? Mm-hmm. They also sell honeybee sticks. Oh, honeybee sticks. Like okay. these? You want to show them? Yeah. Like these. These are the honey sticks. This is the lemon honeybee sticks. Mom and Dad don't... You, I thought Mom and Dad usually brought the lemon sticks. They don't. They buy a different flavor, but... I, but I wanted to try the lemon. You wanted not, to try the lemon? Yeah. Not trying it right now. Oh, okay. So you're not going to try it right now? No. Well, what you going to put it in? Mom and Dad just eat the honey, just eat the honey sticks. They just eat the honey sticks? Yeah. Alrighty. That's unusual. You don't put it in anything? Not that I know of. Did you, not that you know of? They only put it in their mouth. Alrighty, I guess that's one way to eat it. Mm -hmm. What they are are the little plastic, little plastic tubes with honey inside them. All right. So all I did was use my regular bread recipe and just add raisins, and then once um it rises, it takes an hour to rise, and then I'll take it out, roll it out, and we'll put it in a Bread pan this time. Whew. There we go. All right, what else are you going to show them? Hi, Rebecca. This is the worst kind of haunted yeah, house. A car from the trip. Woohoo! This is the worst kind of haunted house ever. It is. How come? Because the because on the inside, the floors and the doors are teal. They are teal. That's how it's the worst haunted house ever, because it's different code. Because the floors are the different are different code than what they're supposed to be. Oh, okay. Isn't that a good thing? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I got the bread rising. What I've done already, I've um put the Butter and the sugars, which, and, uh, yeah, the butters and the sugar, and I creamed that already. So, this is the beginning of the cookies, and then we'll add everything else. So, we need two eggs. All right, and we've got the vanilla, so I'm going to add the vanilla, and we've measured this out before. If you don't have a teaspoon, the top to your vanilla is actually a teaspoon. I'm not going to do it that way. I have these over here. I just dropped the oil on the floor. That's all right. Clean that up. Add a teaspoon of vanilla. But actually, you kind of use any kind of flavoring um, extract. If you like, like at Christmas time, have peppermint, you got almond. Lemon. I made some lemon and some orange extract, which is actually really, uh, I need to do a video because it's already ready to be bottled up and everything and used. So you never know what I might use it in. 
And I found a nice little track. I laid a paper towel down. Hmm. Crack my egg. It doesn't make a mess. Or not as messy. So we cream one egg. Then we do another egg. Rinse my hands. I gotta get the chocolate chips. popcorn. <laughs> the bag of popcorn. Y'all have a Kroger near y'all or a Dillon's or another one that's by Kroger. They have come out with their own dairy free. So since this is getting expensive now, we just do it every once in a while. I'm not going to use a whole bag because I want to save them for something else. And so then you do that, and then you have two large eggs, and then we need two and a half cups of flour and two teaspoons of baking soda. So here's my baking soda. And we have more. I just haven't put it in here. There's one. I know, I, I do it weird. <laughs> well, it's down at the bottom, and I'm just like, you can't get in there, and I don't want to dump it, because then it would be too much. So we got that, and then we're going to add our flour. Alrighty. Hey, Martin Sue, how you doing? So we got one cup, two cups, and I have my half cup here, and half cup. All right. Then we're going to add our chocolate chips. I'll put like, oh, these are nice big ch chunks of chocolate chips. Look at those. Now, I'll put in half a bag. I'm going to do more than half a bag. You want some chocolate? Hey, everybody, here is some dairy free chocolate. What are you doing? And this tastes just like chocolate. So, this helps out so much. And then we're going to mix. Wow! Chocolate chip overboard. We're going to have a white pick. And there we go. That is done. Chocolate chip back in the bowl. Would you like to? Here, take these. You want one? Not right now. 
I'm gonna eat them both. Alrighty, you can eat them both. <laughs> you sure you don't want any? I am positive I don't want any. I think I think the people want some. Yum yum yum. Think yum, the yum. Want some? yum 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 yum. Alright. I don't know what y'all but yeah. We licked the bowl, we you know, we did that as kids and everything, so there ain't nothing hurt us. We're still here. <laughs> so here is the cookie dough. And let me get my pan. I've already got the oven preheated at 350. Sometimes I would do stuff with the cookie dough I wasn't supposed to. And what was that? So we would be making brownies. Me, mom, and dad would be making brownies. Mm hmm. And mom and dad would let me would let me lift the batter that was on the spatula, and then I'd secretly dip the spatula into into the batter that was already in in the pan to get more batter. To me, just putting parchment paper down just makes it easier to clean up. And I'm all about easy cleanup. All right. And yes, I have that cookie press thing on. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I mean, it's just easier just to get a spoonful. Okay. I've seen a trick. I don't know how well it works. You spray your um, spoons with Pam. Maybe cooking with Pam. Yeah. And that actually is a um, a channel, cooking with Pam. With the Pam spray. <laughs> so, I've never tried it. And the oven's already preheated, so then it takes about, it says 10 to 12 minutes. Usually about 12 minutes is good. And that depends on how well you want a hard cookie, a soft cookie. And I'm sorry, if you don't use your fingers when you're cooking, that's not you use your hands when you cook. That's the fun part about cooking. Now this dough came out really soft today. And I think it's because we're going to get rain. Hallelujah. We're going to get some rain. Because that smoke from Canada sure has been coming down. Well, that's going to be a big cookie. Have y'all ever tried to make one of those huge, big cookies that you can get from the store? Probably not that hard to do. But we'll just do it with those. We used to buy some at Whole Foods. You did? Uh-huh. And the first batch is going in the oven. So we'll put a timer on for 12 minutes. And then we'll... Let's see here. Da, da, da. 12 minutes and we'll look at it we'll look at it in a few minutes so all right now if y'all haven't seen the video who's coming hi rita hi ann so um if y'all all know rita Rita's Roots. To me, you know, I've been going over there learning how to sew with her and Mona and a whole bunch of others. And this water is not in a safe place. That's especially around the computer. So, we do uh, it. Can you bring me? Never mind. She's still eating those cookies. I'm going to go get it. 
So, now that's going to be a question on, on something one day. What word did I use the most? I see that. So, I wanted to learn how to sew clothes. Because, you know, I got patterns and material I want to use. And I'm more than wanting to do it. So, long story short, my hands are healed now to where I can do it. So, last, so, it was Wednesday. Oh, my days have come in one together. So, anyway, I sewed the skirt. And here is the skirt for Anastasia. I still have to fix this because... I only sewed it like once and then um she suggested now this, this i think this was mona was trying to tell me to do a cross do an x and then top side bottom and side so but i think that turned out so cute so as you know little things here and there to work on and everything but i was like that was so much fun so um uh, in one of her lives, Peggy suggested we do a quilt block swap. So, Rita has a video, and I have a video out about it. So, right now, as far as I know, last night, Peggy said 21 people have participated in everything. So, everybody makes a block, and then um, how many people you need to make blocks for, and then you send them out. And I'm like... I, I need to get, I am working on everybody's, um, I know Melody's in here, so I just got to get packages to, uh, so I can print the labels and get everything mailed out from the giveaway. It's just been a long road with uh, going to the doctors and everything, and yesterday was, I mean, Friday was a big mess with the sticking people anyway. All right. So, yeah, I go get some stuff. So, uh, okay. Uh, hi, Beverly. How you doing? So, Friday I called to get the schedule for the 24-hour thing. Well, I found out you don't stay at the hospital for 24 hours. They put it on your head and you go home for 24 hours. But the times they want me to come in, I was like, that's a no-go. Sorry, you can't get there on those days. The only days I have is Friday after the Fridays. Well, they don't do it on Fridays, so they're not here on Saturday. Then the girl wanted me to sit. Then this is scheduling. This is not even the department itself. She wanted me to tell my son and daughter-in-law, go on them take off a couple hours early. I'm like, they can't. They don't know time. And oh, she got so happy. I said, you know what? I'm going to talk to them and I'll call you back. So I hung up. I got to email my doctor because he's the one that knows what their schedule is, what time I can do things and everything. I'm going to let him figure it out. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, these people. And I'm telling you, scheduling people um, at the hospital makes me think of telemarketers because they just pushy about everything. And I'm just like, people, you know, you got to understand people have lives and they got stuff and schedules and school and everything else. I don't have school. It, you're not reading that you don't have school. <laughs> <laughs> she don't have school. But, yeah, we got a fourth grade over here. You know, so, we're having summer vacationer. That's like, you're a summer vacationer. Hey, Gary, how you doing? All right, so let's see. Hey, Shirley, how you doing? Woohoo, all righty. So here is the rest of the chocolate chip cookie dough. This is the dough. I've got some cookies in the oven. I've got the bread dough going over there. And then I got some mail. So I was really, oh my goodness. You talking about being blessed. I can't help it. I've got to share this. So we're talking about the block party and everything. So um, that start, and then the next night we were in the live, and um, Peggy asked, "She goes, they go, Nancy, do you have? It was Peggy or Patty. Somebody asked, do I have all the stuff to make a quilt?" And I was like, "Really? Goes, I don't think she has anything." And I'm shaking my head no, because um, Anastasia watched the little pet shop. So when they're singing. When, it's not the little pet shop, it's Lilith's pet shop. She's going. 
So I have to mute sometimes when they're singing their little songs because I don't want the mic to catch it. So um, I was like, so I'm, I'm like, no, not really. I don't. I said, I've got material and patterns, but those are the make clothes. And they were like, so Patty G, she goes, oh, I'm sending you some stuff. Because we all had I already emailed Peggy my address to sign up for the block party swap. And um, then she asked, she goes, do you mind if I send out your, your mailing address to others that signed up? I'm like, I don't mind at all. So Rita goes, I've already got your address. And she goes, I'm sending you something special. She goes, surprises, surprises. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness. And Peggy is sending me stuff and Paige. I was like, oh my goodness. You talking about the Lord blessing. So Rita sent me, she sent me a, on the small woolers. So this is the one that you need. And then she sent me blocks to start making. So I was like, oh my goodness. I am so excited that I have sent Anastasia a blanket together. But they, you know, it was just like, a seat, you know, all the way around square. But Nothing like, you know, making a quilt. And I'm just like, I've been wanting to do that. And so, and I was like, so I'm just so excited. I was like, yeah, oh my goodness, this is going to be so much fun. And then Justine from um, Justine's Country Kitchen, she um, had a giveaway a couple of weeks ago. And uh, it was only like four or five, like three or four of us in there. And um, I don't know how, but my main name kept getting skipped. <laughs> so funny because everybody else the other two people kept getting drawn and she goes Nancy I'll send you a cookbook anyway I was like it's okay she goes no no she goes I'll send you a cookbook anyway so she sent me this so another cookbook so I was like oh my goodness but the stuff in here oh that looks so good don't you like that chocolate roll that uh yule log that right there Anastasia goes Nana can we make that I'm like, yes, I'll get see what we need to make it and everything. And we've got as a cookie sheet, but you know, they're not but the lip of it is around about like that much. So you can make the jelly roll here, the cake roll. So you can roll that up and I'm like, oh, that is just so much fun. So I'm really excited about this too. <laughs> So those are some things going on and um, things I've gotten. And like I said, if you want again to be quilt or anything, go check out Vita's uh, link. It's in the title, Chicken Coop Quilt Block Swap. I think that's what it's called. Right? So yeah, Chicken Coop Block Swap. There we go. That's what it's called. So it's just so much fun. And then I was in a collab with Kettle Kitchen and Blue South Reliance and the Jamming Up June and then July is Dried Up July or something. So, you know, y'all can check those out too. So I did a pistachio and date jam. Something new, something different, something I've never done before. It actually turned out really good. And it was just three ingredients, your dates, so water, and the pistachios. And I was like, oh wow, this. Hey, maybe you should search up a recipe for a pistachio pudding. She wants me, um, hey, there you go. Search up a recipe for pistachio pudding. There you go, I'll have where to do that. From? Huh? You wanna know where I got pistachio pudding from? Where did you get that from? On the Lilith's Pet Shop. Hi, Jean, how you doing? Her name's Pepper. Her name is Pepper? Okay. <laughs> so I had this book of sauces and I was looking through it because I was like, I've been wanting to do some sauces in here. And I was like, well, you know, it's going to take some time for all the stuff to rise and cook and bake. And well, let me see if I can make a sauce while we're sitting here together. And I found one. It's called Will Custard. So, and the ingredients are. Two cups of milk, a few drops of vanilla extract, two eggs plus one egg yolk, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of corn flour or cornstarch, and two tablespoons of water. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, 
where does the lemon come? I was like, this is not lemon custard. It's just custard. So we're going to give this a try today because like, it's dairy free. And why not? We'll see how this works. So we need two cups of milk. And like I said before, I'm not one of those that <laughs> don't have everything all laid out, all nice and neat. It just goes the way it goes. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna two cups of water. Two cups of water, two cups of milk. So I'll put this on a medium to low heat. Well, that's a three fourths of a cup. That does not going to help me. <laughs> Ooh, there goes a timer. Maybe a little bit too long. Yes, baby. Do we have any envelopes? I have to look for them. So here we go. Baby girl, I can't right now. No, I can't. All right. Those are kind of flat. So, like I said, with the air and the rain. It could be part of that. So we want to let those cool and then I can do this one. So we're going to do two cups of milk. And I, hi Mona, how you doing in blue nose? And the, the trick is, is this front light going to work? <laughs> Do this thing. Well, my son is so hilarious because he'll be down here trying to cook and everything. Next thing here, bang, bang. I'm like, don't bang the stove. Is that going to make it work even faster? And then let's see. A few drops of vanilla. I had the vanilla. I don't remember putting it back. No, I didn't put it back. Oh, there it is. <laughs> One, two, whoop, there we go. That was more than a few drops. That's all right. So we have, and then we have two eggs plus one egg yolk. Uh, I'm, I mix chocolate chip cookies by hand and they come out better. Yeah, I, uh, I, that's all right. It's still be eaten. Yeah, I usually, sometimes I do it that way, sometimes I don't. Just, it did what it did. I know as soon as I started spinning it, it was like this really soft dough. I was like, okay, dokie. Oh, yeah, that's really. We want those soft cookies. So I'm going to need two eggs. There's one egg. I need to get some envelopes. I don't know where any are right now, honey. Why don't I just look for some? I cannot look some right now. And oh, I just made boo boo. 
Did you hurt yourself? No. That's supposed to be the yolk, and I put some whites in it. Oopsies. Yeah, oopsies. Let's That's see. all right. We still won't see how this works out. Uh, you know, because I go back and I think, well, did I put all the right? Did I measure the flour right? Did I did this, put this in there? Did I forget something? And I'm like, the cookies just come out the way they come out. <laughs> I don't know. All right. And then two teaspoons, two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of corn flour. I put those over there. So let's get the sugar, which is back here. Can I tell them a few things about? Yes, you may. All right, so I'm gonna get the sugar, and she's gonna tell y'all a story. So I'm gonna tell you all a few. A few um, little pet shop episodes. Got stuff on my face. In one episode, a movie star gets gets mis some Sunil, one of the pets, gets next uh, gets mistaken for a movie star named Sharuk. Sharuk is at the day camp. And he makes all the pets. You know what? You know what he made all the pets do? He made them serve them. Like he was a movie star. He was a movie star. Yeah. And you think that guy didn't want to be fussed over. But then... But Sunil used his magic to switch them back. Sharuk was back at the at the movie studio, and Sunil was back in Lilith's pet shop. He could practice his magic whenever he wants. Then he was going to make. Then he pulled out the supplies for a new magic trick. Everybody ran away. You want to know why? You want to? Keep going. Because, because he brought out a box and a saw. He did. Mm -hmm. You know that trick. Every, that's why everybody ran away. Oh, so you're going to try to saw somebody in half? Yeah. No. <laughs> so, let's see. Hmm. There's another episode where Vinny and Sunil, two best friends, split up. Alrighty. Mm hmm What happened there? Well, long story. Ease. Long stories. Mm hmm Keep going. But they each had their own side. So, Sunil's side was... Sunil's side was... He kept... Was Vinny kept asking if he if Sunil was watching him dance, and then he was, and then he looked away to do his magic, and and Vinny crashed into his table. He got his table fixed, and then and Vinny made him think he stole his tat that Sunil stole Vinny's tat shoes. Vinny's side was he fell asleep. He was he was dancing, accidentally crashed into the table. But he accidentally crashed into the table, and then he innocently asked his best friend if he's seen the tap shoes. Sit so back to Sunil's side. Since since Vinny thought he wanted, since Vinny thought that Sunil wanted revenge, this is Sunil's part of the side of the story. He he broke. He broke Sunil's magic wand. He broke Sunil's magic wand? Yeah. Went in the magic wand? Yeah, but he broke it. 
How can you break a magic wand? He snapped it. Oh, he did? It snapped. It oh. went, it went snap. My goodness. Benny's part of the story is he was going to try help Sonia with the magic, wave the wand around, and then the wand went snap. So both stories, the wand broke. Or did it break? The real story was... The real story was Sunil and they were both doing the things they love. Then he was dancing. Sunil was practicing his magic. But... But then he can, but then he could not, but then Vin could not find his tap shoes. He, he stormed over to his friends. They started fighting and then he broke his wand. He, he did not break the wand. Truth is the wand, it was not a real wand. It was a trick wand. It was a trick wand? Yes. Do you want to know who sold Vinny's tap shoes? Who? Minka, the monkey. Minka, the monkey? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, my knee is taking the chair. Oh, my knee takes the chair. Oh, have I told you about the werewolf one? About the werewolf one? Yeah. No. The werewolf one was terrifying. So, Blythe got trapped with, got trapped with Whitney, got trapped with Whitney in the bathroom. In the bathroom, Vinny, yeah. I cannot get these names up here. Is that right? In a bathroom, trapped in a bathroom were Blythe and Whitney Biscuit. Whitney Biscuit was the Swiss was the sister. No, a trick one is not just a stick. A trick wand is I suppose it's a wand that breaks on itself and then goes back together if you flip it again. Okay, back to werewolf one. While, while there was a strange cow going on in the pet shop. Now, Mrs. Twombly wasn't there to expect it. She was at the, she was at Fisher Biscuit's party. The, the father of Whitney and Brittany Biscuit. Was that right? Mm-hmm. Then... And then, um, and then what? Hang on, I'm thinking. I haven't seen this episode in a while. You just watched it last night. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Not. Yes, you did. That was a different episode. That was a different episode. It was? Yes. Then what did you watch last night? Episodes from season four. Oh, so how many seasons are there? Four. Four seasons? Yes. I'm trying to get back to the episode. Oh, okay. Get back to the episode. Everybody thought that Russell, the hedgehog, was a werewolf. It was really, really hard to... It took a while. Then you... And then you won't believe what happened next. There's a little thing in that show called Imagination, called Bad Imagination. Is that right? Uh-huh. And the Bad Imagination made Vinny and Sunil think that Mika, Zoe, Pepper, and Russell were, were werewolves. Oh, There's my goodness. Se there are seven pets. There's, There's seven pets? Yes. Can you name all them? You want me to name them? Yeah. Let's see. There's Zoe. There's um, Mika. There's Chanel. There's Benny. Um, 
There's a panda. I don't remember her name. Oh, pan. Ah. Uh, and there's a skunk. What's the skunk? The skunk's name. I said her name earlier. I know you did. I want to say Mika. No. Her name starts with a P. Pepper. The panda's name starts with a P and an L. Um. I want that Penelope. P. The first word is P, space, and then the second word is L. I, I don't remember. Penny Lane. Penny Lane, that's right. What about the lizard? That's Benny. Yes. I told you that. That was Benny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but there was a but there's a thing in that show called Bad Imagination. And the Bad Imagination had Vinny and Sunil running all over the pet shop, hiding from their friends. Hiding from their friends? Yes. All right. Second batch is going in, and we're going to cook that for 12 minutes. And I'm going to show you what, how that the cookies came out. I show Mom and Dad the one with Sharuk in it. Mom call, Mom said, Mom accidentally called Sharuk Sar Sharai. But his name was Sharuk. All right. And then, um. Right. So here's the raisin bread. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in the loaf pan and let it rise again. There's an episode called Winter Wonder What. Is that right? Yes. Winter Wonder What is about the Biscuit Twin. So the Biscuit Twin's father had had pink slippers on and was sitting by the fire in his chair reading reading the newspaper. When all of a sudden Whitney and Brittany Biscuit came with their holiday wish list. Wish list came with their Christmas list. They said that that's gonna be all the things that they were going that he was going to be buying them. Do you wanna know how many gift items worth there were? Um, ten. Three hundred and fifty-nine. Three hundred and fifty-nine? Yes. Wow, that's a lot of... That's a lot. Yeah. Right, so, I'll go get the chair. All right. So she's going to go get her chair. And the way the custard is supposed to be. This is why I don't need a head. You know, I just do it on the fly. In a pan, heat milk with vanilla extract and remove the heat from the pan just as the meat comes to a boil. But she came to a boil now. And whisk in eggs and yolk in a bowl, bowl with cast with sugar until well combined but not frothy. In a separate bowl, blend together the corn flour with the water and mix into the eggs. Whisk in a little hot milk, then mix the remaining milk. Strain the egg and milk mixture back into the pan and heat gently, stirring continue constantly. Take care not to overheat the mixture or the eggs will curdle. Well, I did get that way. I didn't have the eggs curdle. <laughs> I forgot the water. Yeah, but there were 359 items on there. He said... What do you think he did? What do you think Fisher Biscuit did when he saw that Christmas? Said so he put the Christmas list down. What do you think he he did after that? I don't know. What did he do? Well, first, well now.
Christmas is down and they wanted an early present. Brittany said, Brittany said jewelry will work for me. And then Brittany said, or cash. And then he got up and walked toward the fire with one of those fire sticks. Hey, there. Yeah, one of those fireplace sticks. Oh, my goodness. And he said that when he was a little boy, he didn't get much presents at all. Maybe just one or two. Wendy and Brittany laughed. Well, that wasn't nice of them to laugh there, Dad. Jay thought he was joking. I thought he was joking? Yes. Yeah, but... Yeah, but they thought he was joking, and he said that they had to help somebody in need before they got any presents. So they went to help Blythe. And when by helping Blythe, they mean accidentally stuffing her into the back of their, their limo and driving off to their winter chateau. Oh, wow. But they made pretty good of that. Then Zoe overheard them talking... Oh, I heard them talking about hope oh, their father will shower them with presents after they see that hey, they've done good to Blythe. They, oh, so they tricked her. Mm-hmm. She, Blythe didn't even know. She didn't? Mm-mm. Oh, um. Also, in season two, they fired their, buck, their buckler for telling them a secret. For telling Blythe a secret that that he wasn't supposed to tell her. Oh my goodness! So they fired him. His name was Francois, and then Francois too became their buckler. Do you want to know who Francois too was actually was? Uh, Francois dressed up like Francois. Nope, Francois too was their father, Fisher oh, wow. Biscuit. <laughs> And then they went, and then the Biscuit Twins went down the mountain, accidentally fell down the mountain. And Blythe chased after them. Zoe said this, Blythe, what are you doing? And then Blythe said this, trying to save the Biscuits. So, what well, last time were they trying, the father's trying to teach the kids? Not to be greedy. And then what did Blythe show them? Not to use other people ha- not to use other people as an excuse for presents. Is that right? Mm-hmm. I haven't eaten the cookie yet. You haven't eaten the cookie yet? I haven't eaten the cookie you gave me yet. All right. Let's see. And then when they were got back. The father did something. He did. He rang a bell. He rehired Francois. He rehired Francois and said this. <laughs> he said this after he rang the bell. Okay, what did he say after he rang the bell? If you girls are extra nice to him, you might just get one or two presents. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. The girls didn't like that. So, if you need extra soft cookies, I definitely mean extra soft, extra soft cookies. <laughs> so, there you go. Be careful, because my friend Happiness really likes extra soft cookies. You might take them. Okay, Mona, thank you. Yeah, they're definitely extra soft. I was like, well, you know, Soft cookies are good when you're um, cutting teeth or losing teeth or broken teeth or whatever. So this works out very well. Let's see. I'm trying to think of other episodes so I can tell them about. Tell them about other episodes. All right. Oh. All right. So. Tonight we're doing um name that, that show, show. Name that show which is YouTube channel. <gasps> so we're doing I never would have guessed. He never would have guessed. Excuse me. It's all right. 
So tonight, um, I've got a whole list going and everything. So you just never know when your channel might be up there on Hangman and name that show. And still shout out to Randy, Missouri, Missouri Outlaw Randy. He was the one that named the suggestion. Oh, I We really had so much fun last Sunday night and everything. So it was pretty cool. I did do some, a lot of um, people sent last Sunday, uh, everybody would know and everything. And then I'm just going to go make a list and you know, people you know, people you don't know, you know, just, you know, and you can use the, use your search bar to uh, look up the channel too. So I'm cool with that. I know in a nice episode. 9 p.m. the same time Mona's going, I mean, Rita goes live. <laughs> it's so funny. Believe it, I know, I don't mind. You know, a lot of people get, oh, this person is going live with this person, and it's okay. Now, sometimes, you know, there are days that everybody has a time that, that's that been on regular schedule. And like like Gary, he goes on at 1 o'clock. So I try to end before 1 o'clock so that I can go into his live. And there are days like, you know, Tuesday night is DJ Cartoon Universe. Then Wednesday I have Living Miracle Homestead. And then Thursday night, oh, my goodness, the list goes on. It's, you know. We got Blaine's Palmer's Ranch. We got Rita. Rita goes live every night when she can. And then and Mona's during the day. And then um Friday night, DJ Cartoon Universe. He, he went live this past Friday. Next Friday it'd be movie night. So, you know, he shows a movie through his his Discord or maybe StreamYard. You know, so many people can go in. If you wanna watch a movie, you watch a movie. And then Hold on. Saturday mm -hmm. is um, Double Dog, which is Eddie, and then after Eddie is Belt Loop 29. So, you know, people, you know, and, and it's like, you know, when you start growing the channel and you start um, subscribing to people and everything else, we're going to come across that. You know, Randy goes live during the day because he's traveling and he helps some, somebody to talk to to keep him awake and everything. So, you know, what do you do? There's a million people in the whole wide world. Everybody's on YouTube and people are going live here, there and everything else. And, you know, just everybody just needs to be kind and understanding and everything. And, you know, it's like you just shrug your shoulders. Like, what do you do? That's like, all right, so we'll say toilet paper, for instance. How many brands of toilet paper are out there? 88. <laughs> You know, you got your store brand, and you got the off brand, and then you got the name brands, and then you got bulk sizes, then you got small sizes. Dollar Tree has toilet paper, and this person and that person, and everything. So it's like the Charlotte know, toilet paper. The Charlotte toilet paper. Yeah, I'm gonna tell them about some more episodes. There's one episode where Josh, um, Blythe's, uh, um, crush. Had a job, gets a job at largest ever pet shop. Is that right? Owner of largest ever pet shop, Whitney and Brittany Biscuits. I don't, I don't like largest ever pet shop. It's a pet shop against Lilith's pet shop. Please don't go there. Please don't go there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. What you do with the cut towels that were on the t on the chair? What? Stand up, please. Stand up, please. I uh, will stand up. Oh, so you want to burn your hand getting this out? Where are the towels that are in the head of the chair? Do you know? <laughs> they walked away. They walked away. Actually, they're right here. Silly girl. All right. So the other cookies are out. And I'm just going to go ahead and put the bread in the oven. And we're going to cook this right in the bread. Do, 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 do. So we'll stop the. Oh, I should alarm. probably start. I should probably tell. An episode before this. 
So this is an episode before the episode I was telling you about. So this episode is called Two Pets for Two Pests. Can you hear me those cocktails, please? All right. So as this custard cools, it will thicken up. So but I'm, let me show them this real quick. Did you take the paper off? What? Hang on. What? So here is no. what it looks like. I didn't do anything with this set. And yeah, I need to go back and read the directions. <laughs> but I took it out and then did the corn starch stuff and everything. And we'll just pour it in here. And I said, as it cools, it thickens. So, so. it was Pet Appreciation Day at Black School, and the Biscuit Twins decided to participate. But they only they brought two chinchillas only for Pet Appreciation Day. Only for Pet Appreciation Day. Uh huh. But Life actually got them into a dog. Uh, the chinchillas permanently. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Done cooking. Now going to eat. All right. They were only. She could only bring two heads to, for pet appreciation day. Can you guess who she chose? I don't know. Who did she choose? Yes. Blythe. No, Blythe is not a pet. Who? She chose two pets. Who did she choose? Um, I don't know. Yes. Um, Zoe and Chanel. No. Benny and Chanel. Mm -hmm. Close. Um, Chanel and Penny Lane. Got close. Well, it's, yeah, how can I get close? You almost got it. Peeling and a Pepper. The Scout. Peeling and Zoe. Then I don't know. Peeling and Vinny. Oh, there That's we how go. I said you were close. Well, <laughs> yeah, you were close. Peeling and Vinny were the ones chosen. So. Yeah, and every time they say the name, it makes me think of a song, you know, by the, Be no, by the Beatles. So, I think that's pretty Pepper. cool. Pepper. Pepper. So, the bread is going to be in the oven for 30 minutes. And Excuse me, I'm trying what? to balance on this You're thing. trying to balance on that thing. So, right now, let's see here. Ah! If we take brother. You know, I don't have that little banner going across. Shame on me. No. No shame on you. There you go. No shame on you. I forgot to put the banner up. <laughs> Take brother. And then your zip code. It will show what the weather is like. And then, you know, and drop your link so everybody can connect. And, you know, you know, if you learn one thing, then you learn one thing. If you know, learn not what to do when you're making custard. <laughs> So they let, I forgot the title. Learn what to do not when making cust when you're making custard. So you know, and I'm just I've always been that way. I've always like, oh, here's ingredients and just go with it and not really read the recipe or in, in uh, directions or instructions. So I'm trying to get better with that. Let's see, I take after my dad on that one because my mom, she always, the handbook, you name it, instructions, she read it from the front but the back, left and right, up and down, everything else. And not my dad, he just sit there and take it off. But <laughs> he just has. Fire and string. Yeah, he just put it all together. He just went and read it and then he get frustrated. But I'm just like, well. <laughs> Do you guys want to know what the chinchilla's names were? What was the chinchilla's names? Yes. Except for the cookie recipe, and it still kind of um, did the, whatever. Cashmere and velvet. Cashmere and velvet. So, like I said, it's like I said, it's a nice soft cookie. So cookie, cookie, cookie monster. That came out really good, 
And then I found a Cookie Monster shirt in my closet. I should have worn that. You did? But I knew we were making cookies. Ooh, Cookie Monster. Yeah. I'm Cookie Monster. See, it's for Cookie. That's good enough for me. It's a poem that they made into a song. Or is it a song that you can make into a poem? I, I don't some, know. You don't know. Hi, Des. How you doing? <coughs> she's on her skateboard. <coughs> so that's what she's doing over there. <coughs> out of the you camp. balance on these things? <laughs> she balanced on the skateboard. <laughs> so it's a little mini skateboard that they got her one year for Christmas. And she's learning how to balance on it. She's doing pretty good. Don't ask me to get on there. Mm -mm. You get and on I there. Even when I was younger, because I ride a skateboard, I sat down on one and rode it down the hill. But to stand up and do all those moves and everything, forget no, it. Mm -mm. Not happening. It's not happening. It's not happening. My feet mm -mm. hurt. <laughs> My feet Your feet hurt. hurt. So we'll see how this is. Actually, it looks okay. pretty good. It's still okay. hot. Now, back to the episode I was telling you before, two pet it's for two pests. So, Josh had a job oh, at a oh largest ever pet shop. And, oh, well, and it turns out or not, it's still good. Oh, man. <laughs> Sorry. And, <laughs> and then wife decided to spy on him at his job and then she heard him um saying that the saying that it the saying that it, saying that biscuits were cute saying that they were cute and they were kissing him mm, that's not a good thing she life ran out of the shop well well zoe and minka went to go went to go to the biscuits and Josh, mm -hmm. he wasn't talking to the biscuits. He was talking to cashmere and velvet. They're chinchillas. Oh my goodness. He was talking to the chinchillas, cashmere and velvet. So I what kind it. of lesson came out from that? Then Hi, Joyce. To, how you doing? Then you went to Lilith's pet shop to get chew chips for the chinchillas because Large is never going to sell them. And then when, when the biscuits found out he was going to Lilith's pet shop, they fired him. Oh, that's not good. He was just she needs to plan a plane trip down here to sing. I know. We need to get together. Um, <clears throat> right now, uh, my son and daughter in law. Oh, working overtime now. So then I get off to like 3.30 or so. And some Fridays they will have to work in the mornings. So it had to be a Friday afternoon or or Saturday. We can do a Saturday because they're off Fridays and Saturdays. Now, June 30th, so, uh, June 30th in the afternoon, y'all be praying because I have that heart. Um, I know I'll keep saying it until June 30th or so in a couple of weeks. Heart, it's not heart catheterization. There's some electro, electrologist that is going to check the electrical system of my heart. So, but I, yeah, last night was funny because I wanted to read a slide after uh, Devil Dogs. And then normally I am talkative. Y'all know I am. And Rita goes, so y'all, you know, everybody was talking about being quiet. And I was like, well, that I can tell you. That was my fault. That was my fault. Your fault for what? You mean quiet? Hey, Jerry, how you doing? Hi. So, um, I call them spells. Well, I had one Friday night, so this is what we're trying to figure out. If it's epileptic, you know, uh, seizures or non-epileptic seizures or something like that. And uh, it was funny. I'm sorry, I had to laugh because it's hilarious. Because I, I know, right, I'm going to show you all what I do. So I sit me off, sitting in my chair upstairs. I lean back and I'm so like this. So I'm like, okay, I'll take a little nap. And I'm like, this is not a nap because I know it's not. And can I feel my head going down like this? And like, so then I took a, a pillow or a towel and I put my head on the towel like this. I'm like, okay, this is not good because I'd already started doing this motion. Now, rocking, rocking starts it now. So that's, you know, but 
I've always done that. And um, so I was in there, like, I could get away with it because the music was on or, you know, at church, you know, saying amen, you you know, you're agreeing with the preacher and everything else. So I was sitting there doing the rock and I'm like, okay, I know what's going on. So I put my head, made sure that something was here on my head. It went like this. I have a, and I have I, a neck pillow if you want to borrow it. Right. So I'm like, I know I'm doing, my head went down like this. And I'm like, okay, so I could hear the TV, then I didn't hear anything, and I'm like, I, you know, I when you're tired you sometimes, you think you're th taking a nap. And I wake up, I am like this, halfway, you know, going forward, and I'm just like, oh, Lord, if I yeah, fall out of this chair. Is he going to hear anything? <laughs> I do that sometimes. This one time, my dad put on the gun channel. I got a YouTube channel, a guy was shooting stuff, shooting targets with a gun, and then I and then I made a little nest with my giant unicorn and dad's blanket and fell asleep. Mm. Hallelujah. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, I things that came and said was saying something to me and I could hear about couldn't respond. So I'm sitting there like this, and someone just told me I need to move myself back and you know start coming around. So I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, oh man, I done missed, you know, posting at seven o'clock and everything else. Now I'm gonna tell y'all when I know I looked at my clock, my phone, it said like six somewhere between six thirty and six forty. Oh so when I came around, came to and everything, I looked at I'm like, I know it's like eight, nine o'clock at night. That's how much time I thought had passed. It was only seven ten. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I like how did I lose that much time? In my mind, I had lost that much time. In reality, I hadn't. So like I was telling the doctor, it can last. It can be about 10 minutes. It can be 30 minutes. It could just, sometimes I can lay down and be, she says, Nana, you slept for two hours. So it could probably start and then I just fall asleep. But I was like, that was so funny. I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, so I was just like, Thursday night, no, Friday night, I was just like, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, I was like, do I, you know, don't want to go into any lives or anything, because I was still trying to get, you know, get myself, get my bearings and everything else, last but I night, couldn't do it. I failed last night. You fell? Yeah. How did you fall? I didn't fall. I didn't fail. I failed. Oh, you failed. Failed at what? To get... So I showed mom and dad the episode Lights, Camera, Mongoose. Mm -hmm. I thought mom and dad were really going to like Sharuk, especially mom. Mom did not like him. She didn't? Fail. That's all right. So last night, um, yesterday, I found myself doing the same thing. I'm like, not tonight. You know, I'm just not no. not Stop jumping over the thing. Tell me. Uh oh, come here. Where did you land on? The shoe. The shoe? So that's why I say put shoes away because this can happen. Come here. Hold on. Come here. Where'd you have the shoe at? Why is it in the shoes right there? I don't know where to put him. Alright, we're coming to stick. Can you stand up? No. You want me to help you stand up? No. You gonna sit right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, you sit right there. She's alright. I don't think she trusted anything. That's why I tell them put their shoes away and her daddy's shoes are just right there where she was jumping. So everybody's asking, Are you okay? No. Well come here and tell everybody. No. You gotta show them. No. Come here. No. Well, everybody's asking. They want to see you. No. Why? My foot hurts. Crawl like you usually do. <laughs> she be playing and everything, and all of a sudden she'll see her out of the corner of my eye. She's crawling on the floor. I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm playing. Now she can crawl because she has to. She don't want to. Hey, emotion, how you doing? So everybody's helping you are better. Come on. Crawl over here. You can do it. Crawl on your belly. And my dad taught me how to do that.
because he was in the army and everything. Yeah, he told me he was on the um, signal corps you know, up on the poles and everything. But he was teaching me stuff and everything that like snipers and all. The time. <laughs> I'm just like, all right, so that I said, you sure you're on that electrical pole? He goes, yeah, 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 I was, I was, but yeah, it's all right. All right, what foot is it? It's, Woohoo, it's this foot. It's not red. Can you bend it? Can you touch? Can you touch your toes? Can you feel that? Can you feel the tickle tickle? <laughs> she's moving her toes and then she's ticklish. She's be like, it's just going to hurt just a little bit. And you get, I mean, go put your daddy's shoes away. You don't do it. I'm not bending over you to pick up those shoes. <laughs> you don't do it. So, and everybody say hello. Hi. So, um, last night we were in Rita's, um, <laughs> live and nobody, you know, everybody got so quiet and everything, but Peggy was sewing. So, but then it was quiet. She, everybody goes, is everybody all right? And I was like, so I told them what happened. I was like, I'm still trying to get my bearings <laughs> for some reason or another. I was like, hmm. So. But the good news, the one that was for an hour that the EEG they did, he said it came back normal. And I'm just like, I don't know how because I was laying there. I was, I knew Hi, something was doing going. our best. Hey. All right. Go ahead. Hi, just doing our best. And who was her name? Shirley. Shirley. So. Shirley. You <laughs> <gonna> say hi. <laughs> That's what's going on. So we're gonna do the twenty-four hour. So I told them, especially in the evening, after around five o'clock or so, when things start to happen. So who knows? We're gonna find out. But um, also stickers. I have put an order in for her stickers with Jamie, Devil Dog's keeper. And if y'all haven't don't know about that, go check her um, channel out. And she has a list of prices and all. They do stickers and magnets and keychains. So we'll be getting some of her stickers soon so I can mail out stickers, logos and all to everybody that wants one. And I was like, yeah, it's, uh, um. <laughs> do you have a spice and tea in change bag? Yes. So I meant to bring down the birthday card that she made me and show y'all what she did with her stickers that she got. She has one on the front and then she has one on the back and then she used them for other things for herself. Here, <laughs> I thought that them. was thought that was so cute. Please show them. All right, what's this? So they had a space and tea the space and tea exchange at one of the local malls. So they got some apple was smoked sea salt. This is the sriracha sea salt. Oh my gosh. That's what they used last night on dinner. That stuff was hot. I ate it. No, you didn't. This is Elderwood smoked sea salt. This is roasted black garlic sea salt. And you know, I don't like, I, well, I'm, spicy food I used to, but I don't use, eat peppers that much anymore because peppers causes inflammation. And I have a bad enough time with this stuff. <laughs> I don't need nothing else to help it. This is ancho pepper powder. So that's ancho pepper powder. All right. All right. Well, and then when this is. Bird's eye chili peppers. So bird's eye chili peppers. Oh, I like. Yeah, y'all can have all that. The applewood smoked ones I, I can have. But the sriracha one, oh my gosh. Hang on, here's one. I want to show the other thing. We got it from the space and tea and stage. Uh -huh. Not today, but hang on. Where's my stool? So, yeah, that's what they do. Let me see what time it is on the bread. We still got like five minutes left. Well, oh, we'll be done enough time before Gary's live. Hmm. Let's see where. So, yeah, then I get the teas. This tea is 
It's nutty chocolate mate tea. They've got cider house herbal tea blend. Come on, I know it's here. We this can't is a use strawberry it. cloud tea. And this is bourbon chestnut herbal tea. What else are you looking for? You'll see. Okay. This is a sm Cinnabar Smoked Spice one. And this is all made here in Columbus. So that's, I like that. So I think, you know, they've got the these that they use and everything. Then I have one that's a kitty. There you are. Did you find them? Yep. And this one is amber, amber rock salt. So amber rock sugar. Oh, sugar. Amber rock sugar. So that's what they, they've got. We've tried these before, I think. You have? Yeah. Are they good? Yeah. They are? No, not right now. <laughs> she wound up. I want to sneak one. Show them these. And then here's the honey. This is the honey stick. They get the bourbon, and this time she got the um, lemon. Lemon. So I was like, oh, that'd be good to try in a tea, the honey lemon. That'd be so good, especially when you don't feel, oh, just that. Just get and boost your immune system. That would help out so much. Alrighty. Not pepper tea. Pepper tea comes in a bag and these mocha sugar. <laughs> Alright, get down. No. Yeah, so you're in the camera. How did the picture start? So this is this is the is thickening up. Hmm, is it lunchtime? I really hope it's lunchtime. Yes, it is lunchtime. What would you like for lunch? Mm. So it's starting to thicken up. Um, a salad? You want a salad? All right, we'll get you a salad here in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. When the oven beats, then I can take the bread out. We'll get you a salad. There's one episode where the pest gets stuck inside the sweet delight shop. Hey, John, how you doing? Gets stuck inside the sweet delights shop and go crazy and go crazy mm -hmm. so here's a chocolate chip cookie with all the chocolate chips in it there we go and i'm still i'm like yeah because it's raining now so you know how are these now these came out a little bit they're still soft but not as soft so we still have some more and have the sand. Okay. Oh my goodness. You know, Ricky, these became out perfect. Yeah, but they eat too much sugar and go crazy. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. All right. Oh. Well, we're waiting. We got a few minutes. I still can do something. Oh, I on, know. Everybody. Oh, there's something real. There's a really good episode. It's called Heart of Parkness. Is that right? Yes. So we're going to set these It's on really the nice. It's nice because... It's nice... Ma, you like that episode, don't you, da, Don't you, Grandma? I sure do. Why do you like that, the episode Heart of Parkness? You got to remind me what the episode is about. Senola. I should it's about Sunil. Uh huh. And Sunil does what? For the raccoons. Oh, that's one. So Sunil is a mongoose. Mongoose. And mongoose take care of snakes. Yes. And this is one. He beats a snake to help the a raccoons. Cobra. A cobra to help the raccoons. The raccoons. Ice cream. Yeah, 
Right, so she's gonna go put the. But mom and dad make excuses to place their shoes wherever they want. They say, "Oh, this is oh no, those are my work shoes. They need to stay out for when I need to go work." Excuses. <laughs> what excuses? Excuses. Excuses. Is that right? Excuses. All right, so uh, they're still soft, but there you go. They have an ice cream cookie sandwich. How about that? Hmm, because the cookie is not too hard. The cookie is just right, and then your ice cream. I didn't want the ice cream to get too soft, so they'd be melting everywhere. There we go. Oh yes, that turned out perfect. So overall, all the cookies. Are good, you know, nice and soft and gooey and everything. Then they're perfect for our ice cream sandwich. I see you through the window. You see me through the window. And let's take the bread out of the oven. And then let's see how this turned out. All right, here we go. Here is our raisin bread. I did not put any cinnamon in it because I feel like rolling it out and add it and everything else. There's oh. one episode where Pepper. Uh huh. Where Pepper sliced into Aunt Zoe, get trapped in the dumb waiter. Is that right? Yes. Alrighty, here we go. Here is the raisin bread. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, it smells so good. I let that cool and then we'll cut into it later. And I'll do a video when we cut into it and everything. There we go. Oh, there's her raisin bread. And that's the time. All right, where are you at? Oh, you gonna come over? Yeah. All righty. Oh. Not ice, yeah. Ice, <laughs> ice cream cookie sandwich. <laughs> I was like, because that's what I was thinking about. You know, what I was thinking about doing, um, not whoopie, well, whoopie pies, but I know, like, a, um, you know, whoopie pies with a cream fill in it would make it ice cream instead. And then when ah! I took those off, I was like, oh, this would be perfect with ice cream. Ah! Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, alrighty. I'm gonna say a prayer. Butler29 is coming on, or he's got YouTube police, whichever channel he's doing. This is one o'clock. Stop, please. Uh, one o'clock is his regular time. So, if y'all haven't, you know, go check him out. See if y'all find anything interesting. And let me say a prayer before we leave. You ready? <laughs> That's enough. Do <coughs> Sorry about that. Do all we thank you for this day. We thank you for the blessings of health, safety, provision, protection that you give each and every one of us. Thank you for everybody who's come in the chat today and came to the channel and those who will watch later. May they have the blessings of Father Abraham through the book of Dawn. I mean, as we bless, as we go out and we come back in and that you will do exceedingly abundant above all we ask or think or imagine because your power works through us, dear Lord. And we may be kind to one another throughout the week and just so that, that the love of God to everybody we come across. We thank you for keeping us safe. We thank of those who are sick, dear Lord, that you just lay your healing hand upon them and had they be well quickly. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, there we go. We have cookies. We did raisin bread. I made a custard. You also have Whitney here. Y'all do. And Whitney. I will have to do a video and redo this step by step. It actually turned out really good. It tastes 
really good. I'll probably stick it on the fridge and let's see if it congeals some more and everything. And I was like, oh, that turned out good. So there we go. Um, check out tonight. See what channel we're going to be doing Hangman with. It might be your channel. You never know. <laughs> This is how the Biscuit Twins have their hair. So. Saves on eye makeup. That's what mom told me. Is that right? That's what mom told me. Exactly. Ah! So. Now keep watching. I'll be coming out with more tap, recipes. Tap, more tap, stuff we're tap, doing. Tap, tap, sewing tap, and everything. Tap, 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 so. Y'all have a wonderful tap, afternoon. Tap, Stay tap, safe. Tap, God bless. Tap, we love y'all. And tap, we'll see you next tap, time tap, on Our Treasure Home. Our Treasure Home. See y'all later.